Hey, so I, um, this is Mega Movie Man. I, uh, normally don't do this, I know. I normally just do this in text form. Um, but I figured it'd be best to actually talk to address this. So, I want to explain first what I'm even talking about, because some of you might be like, on the, what new policy? What, what the... So, YouTube... If some of you, some of you might know this. They were involved in a million, like several hundred. <laughs> I think it was 170 million, actually. 170 million dollar lawsuit um, with the U.S. government for uh, tracking children's like personalized ads without their permission or the parents, you know. So as a result, YouTube promised to crack down on this whole thing, and they're now making it. Let's just say they're putting a lot of stress on the creators. <laughs> um, I know, what else is new? So, um, what they're going to do, uh, they announced in like this, uh, this policy that they keep trying to get people to read. Uh, they said that, essentially, they're going to be closely monitoring anything that they could th potentially view as something a child would watch. So, if something has, say, Bob the Builder in it, for example... Uh, they're going to be paying really close attention to what's actually in that video. Is there any conflict? Is there anything that can give a child stress? Is there anything like that? Um, well, seeing as you have to have a conflict in order to have a story, it's a good to fair wager that it probably will. And if it is, uh, then it's going to get immediately uh, demonetized. Uh, the comments are going to be disabled. If it looks like it's for kids at all, it's gonna that they're gonna do that. But they're also going to uh, possibly give strikes to a channel, not copyright strikes, but this is a different kind of strike, something new that they've like just come up with. Again, it's the same thing three year out, um, but we could also get fined. Uh, like I don't know how much money. Anyway, this is YouTube reacting way too strongly to the U.S. government. So, here is why I'm talking about it. So, as you know, I use Lego and Mega Blocks to do stop-motion videos. As you also know, characters tend to die sometimes in my videos. There tend to be conflicts and violence. Now, we don't know how YouTube is going to actually use this new, uh, I guess, policy of theirs. Are they going to enforce it by actually watching the videos, or are they going to enforce it by just uh, looking at, like, keywords like they do with copyright? If it's anything like they do with copyright, we're going to be in some trouble here. The reason I'm concerned is they might think that my channel is for little, little kids because I have Lego and Mega Bloks. And they might immediately hit me with all of this. Comments might be disabled. I might get the channel, like, it might get strikes and it might be removed from YouTube. Demonetized. I mean, I don't make a lot of money off of this anyway, so whatever. Um, but it would harm the visibility. That's the important thing. And I like the comments because I like getting feedback. So that would be a shame if we lost that too. So here's what I'm planning to do about this again we don't know if this is how it's going to work if there are but if it does affect me um i've got a few ideas on how to uh, combat this i don't know if they'll work but hey if we got months to figure this out before they put it in place um so i've thought of putting a disclaimer at the start of new videos um just saying uh you know, like, uh, this is not intended for viewers under age 12 or something like that. And if you are under age 12 and you like my videos, thanks for watching. Keep watching. It's, it's not, it's, it's, it isn't, the disclaimer is not for you, it's for YouTube. <laughs> um, on uh, old videos, maybe I'll just put something in the title, like, not for kids or something. It's a bit silly that we have to do this, I know, but YouTube's got their rules. So, that is my plan for dealing with it because i i will not tone down my content i mean it's not even that bad i don't swear i don't have like you know sex or anything like that sometimes i have drug references because some criminals are drug dealers and some of the characters have had like 
uh, past histories abusing drugs. Um, so I'm not going to change my stories or the way I do it. I'm just, I'm going to try for the disclaimers and see if YouTube will take to that. I can't, if they're actually watching the videos, they will see the disclaimer at the start of the video and they will be like, okay, he's not pretending to be a kid's channel. <laughs> now, the reason I can see this not happening, like the reason I can see YouTube not being able to actually go through with this part with LEGO videos is because there's some relatively big LEGO stop motion YouTubers out there. There's Forest Fire and there's Keshin. And if both of them stand up to this, then I can see YouTube softening the policy here and being more realistic. Uh, again, this is purely speculative. We don't know what it's going to be like. This is just a precaution, you know? I'm just saying, just in case. So, the U.S. government, they realize that someone started an ongoing petition here. They want to make YouTube and the government understand better uh, what, what's going on here. Uh, so the government, they opened up the ability for people to comment on the policy, um, just in order to give them a broader picture of what the situation is here. Uh, and honestly, it isn't a bad idea if the U.S. government gets the message that what they're trying to do, what they're trying to force YouTube to do here, will impact people who aren't U.S. citizens, like me, I'm Canadian, and they're basically trying to dictate the policy of other nations through YouTube. If they realize that, there's a good to fair chance that they'll be like, "Oh, yeah, maybe we should do maybe we should do something different there." <laughs> um, so I'll link that in the description for anyone else who wants to uh, leave a comment about why they think this is a bad idea. If you think it's a bad idea, if you think it's a good idea, um, okay, <laughs> it might hurt this channel, but. And I assume if you're watching this, you're probably subscribed. Probably? I don't know. If you're not, check out my video. See what you think. Um, but anyway, I'll link, that, I'll link that in the description if anyone would like to make a comment on that for the U.S. government to see. Uh, this is the federal government, so try to keep things professional here. Uh, so we're going to want to play this tactfully, guys, if we, if, if we do that. Um... So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. 2020 is going to be, I think, a pretty content-heavy year. I've been waiting on a voice actor for a long time, but I, um, I think, I think we're just about ready to unveil the first uh, season of the next Lego DC series. But I've been putting a lot of work into this. I'm actually three seasons in in terms of pictures and writing. It's just the voice actor. I'm, a bit behind. Um, in the meantime, while I've been waiting for her, I've uh, just been uh, I've just been doing something with uh, another project. Again, just the pictures. I finished this script over a year ago, so I just had it sitting, and I was like, "Well, I might as well do it." <laughs> so if I get the lines before Christmas, I'll uh, start uploading. Um, and may I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll get the start of this season before the end of 2019. If not, well, I'll see you in 2020. I'm considering doing another Q&A, but I uh, haven't decided yet. The last one was quite fun. <laughs> I guess we'll just see what happens. So, uh, thanks for listening, if you listen through this whole video. And um, just let me know what you think in the comments down below. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.